Hey everybody, this is Steve, and we're called to help young people grow into faithful leaders and Christians. One of the hardest things about being an adult is learning to let go, to trust others with important things. And that can be especially difficult in the context of the church. Growing up in the church, it seemed like adults were more focused on saying no to things than on saying yes. More concerned with preventing young people from making mistakes than encouraging them to take responsibility. And I'm not the only one who's felt this way. I can point you to a ton of young adults who are doing amazing things in school or at work and yet are on the sidelines in the church because no one takes what they have to say seriously or puts them in a position to take responsibility and grow up. I get where that instinct to say no comes from. We have respect for our tradition. We have respect for the teachings and clear boundaries that we've received in the church. But the Christian life isn't about trapping people in perpetual adolescence. In his epistle to the Ephesians, St. Paul talks about the work of ministry and how we're supposed to help people mature and develop to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And that means learning to say yes to young people, to encourage their good instincts and good desires and help them become active members and leaders in the community. Not just kids who passively sit by and let the grown-ups do all the work. A lot of young people are passionate about the environment in particular, and while we can sometimes dismiss this as just a partisan or political issue, it's not. Christians have always seen creation as a gift from God, as something to be cared for and even loved. There's a beautiful moment in the life of St. Siloan the Athenite, a 20th century monk that shows us the Christian spirit. While he was walking down a path with another monk, that monk used his walking stick to hit a stray bit of grass that had grown onto the path, and St. Siloan was grieved. As he later wrote, the heart that has learned to love feels sorry for every created thing. A lot of people understand this on a gut level, not necessarily because of the way they've been shaped as Christians, but because of ideas they've picked up in pop culture. Which is fine. No matter where young people have learned to love creation, we can encourage that and focus that in the church. We can help young people see their love of creation as one aspect of their wider Christian lives. So this love becomes an opportunity. It becomes something we can say yes to. When young people are passionate about caring for creation, that's something we should encourage and something we can help focus. St. Silouan cared for that blade of grass, not because of some political ideology or movement, but because he's a Christian. Perhaps this is something young people can help remind the church about, that creation does matter, and that as Christians, we're concerned with the life of the world. And in turn, we can help young people remember that this is an important part of the larger Christian story. Their care for creation can be an opportunity for ministry and a deeper relationship with Christ in his church. I hope this is helpful as you lead your community into deeper relationship with the Lord in ways both great and small.